So now, let's um, solve these following uh, questions. So first question here is, uh, determine the variable manufacturing cost per unit. Determine the variable cost per unit. Determine the full manufacturing cost per unit. And last is determine the full cost to make and sell per unit. Okay. So you have your given here. You have your sales price of 200 pesos per unit. You have your fixed costs. You have your, under the fixed costs, you have the general administrative expenses and the factory overhead. Uh, for GNA, you have 24,000 pesos per period. Okay, so this is a total amount. And for the fact, total fixed cost, you have 30,000 pesos per period. So, locked here, you have your variable cost. This is a like per unit basis. For general and administrative, you have 6 per unit. For factory overhead, you have 9 pesos per unit. For direct labor, you have 30 pesos per unit. And for direct materials, you have 60 pesos per unit. Also, the problem states you have unit produced of 1,200 units. Okay. So again, let's determine first which items are inventoryable and which items are period costs. Okay. So that would be your foundation first. So pr um, prior to solving this one, determine first which items are product costs and which items are period costs. So let's start with the sales price. Is this a period or product cost? Your sales price of 200. Is this, is this a period or product cost? Okay, so none. This is neither period or product. Okay? So this is not a cost. It's already the selling price. So, okay, so you disregard that one. So your fixed cost here. General administrative cost. Again, this has nothing to do with, or you're gonna trace this to your finished goods inventory. Okay, so you're gonna classify this as period cost. Okay, so have your period. Factory overhead. This is again product cost. So you have inventoryable. So similar for this one, general administrative, and the rest, your factory overhead, your direct labor, direct materials. This is, these are all inventoryable costs. This one would be period cost. Okay, so now let's dwell our attention for the first question. The first question states or asks variable manufacturing cost per unit. So, guys, now I want you to think. Um, again, the hint here is the word variable, right? Variable. So, if you look here again, you're gonna have to dwell your attention in, in this section. This is where you can see all your variable components, right? But again, there are two questions here. You have your variable manufacturing cost per unit, and the second question is variable cost per unit. So, sir, what's the difference of that one? So, the first question is ask the manufacturing cost per unit. That's why I, a while ago I asked you to determine first which items are inventoryable and which items are classified as period costs. Because you will need to, that would be the key for you to answer this one. So, um, you determine here in the variable section, the question asks manufacturing cost. Okay? Manufacturing cost. So, looking at this section, in this variable section, you look which items are manufacturing cost or inventoryable cost. So, you have here your factor overhead, you have your direct labor, and you have your direct materials. Okay, so you add this one enable for you to determine your variable manufacturing cost per unit. So you add here your FOH of 6 plus DL plus DM. So for your DL, you have 30, and here you have 60. Total would be your, your total. Your, um, variable manufacturing cost per unit would be 60 plus 30 plus 60 would be no no no, no. sorry it should be 9 
So you have a total variable manufacturing cost per unit of 99 pesos. Okay. So now the question here, variable cost per unit. Sir, now you already know here that the variable manufacturing cost per unit would be 99. Again, the question is variable cost per unit. So you only have to look again at this table, at this section. Okay. And now you've determined um, that the general administrative expense is the only um, variable cost per unit that was not included in this section. So what happens is that you're just going to have to add it. So same if there is a line item here for marketing, like marketing costs, you're going to have to include it in the total variable cost per unit. Okay? So you add this 99, you have your manufacturing cost of 99 plus your GNA, general administrative of 6 pesos, you're going to have a total variable cost per unit of 105. Understood? Okay, good. So, third question. Again. The third question is asking for full manufacturing cost per unit. You already know here the keyword manufacturing cost, right? What are your manufacturing costs again? These are your inventoriable or your product cost. So if you look here again, automatically you're gonna already include in number three these three figures, right? Your factor, your variable factor overhead, direct labor, and direct materials. But the question is asking the full. So what does full mean? Full means um, the total of your fixed and your variable costs. Okay? So here, you're going to have to incorporate not just your variable manufacturing cost, but also your fixed, um, fixed manufacturing cost. However, the problem states is asking the per unit amount. So what you're going to do is that you're going to multiply, you're going to divide your fixed factory overhead of 30,000 pesos per period with your units produced of 1,200 units in order for you to get the fixed cost per unit. Understood? So, um, let's, um, let's first get this, the per unit basis, fixed per unit, 30,000 pesos divided by the units produced You're gonna have a fixed cost per unit of 25 pesos. So from here, this is already basic. You're just gonna have to add 25, your fixed cost per unit, with your valuable, with your variable manufacturing cost per unit of 99 pesos. So you add 99 here. You're gonna get 25 plus 99. You're gonna get 124 pesos per unit okay so that's your full manufacturing cost per unit so number four they ask you again the full cost get similar with number two you have here uh, for for number two you, you did not just include the the variable manufacturing cost but you already included here the variable general administrative per unit so similar for this one for full cost to make and sell per unit just have again to include the period costs the per unit period cost okay so we already know this one you have your 25 here that we just put we have our um, total total variable cost per unit of from number two this is from number two okay you have your 105, okay? You add your number three, which is the um, manufacturing fixed cost per unit of 25. And last, you get this the per unit basis of this one. So you just divide 24,000 pe pesos by the unit produced of 1,200 you'll get 20 pesos per unit. So you're gonna get um, G&A, fixed cost per unit, 
gonna get 20 pesos so your full cost to make and sell per unit would be the sum of these three which are which is 1.5 plus 25 plus 20 so you're gonna have 150 pesos so for you to check um, you can manually check it you add the total fixed cost so 24,000 plus 30,000 you have 54,000 pesos divided by the units produced you're gonna in here you already have 45 pesos per unit Then you add with the total variable cost per unit, which is 6 plus 9 plus 30 plus 6, 105. So you just add this one and this one. You're going to get 150. Checking, check and balance, and balance. Okay? Good. Again, reminders, when I ask the variable cost per unit, if the problem is silent, it includes the um, not just the product or inventoryable cost, but as well as the um, period costs. Okay, for variable cost per unit questions. But if I ask you the variable manufacturing cost per unit, you're just gonna have you're gonna include only the variable costs for inventoryable or product costs. Okay, so same for full manufacturing cost, you add all. I mean all manufacturing cost if you have to convert in, in, if you have to convert um, the fixed cost in a per unit basis if, the, if that's a question you're gonna have to do it okay